You're watching News 10 ABC at 9 a.m. Hey everybody, welcome back. A new strain of bacteria is helping turn plastic waste into something a little bit more useful. So this is interesting. It was actually created right around the corner by RPI researchers. And here to tell us all about the spider silk are professors Ooh. Helen Zah and Mateos Kofas. They're here to really break down this new invention for us. Thank you both for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. So spider silk, interesting name. In the simplest of terms, what is spider silk? So spider silk is a material made by spiders. It is a protein-based material, so it's made out of amino acids, like the things that are in your, in your body and my body. Um, but it also has incredible toughness and strength. It's tougher than Kevlar and about as strong as steel, but it's very lightweight. It's also very biocompatible, so it can be used in a number of applications where you might conventionally use uh, fossil-based plastics. So tell us about this new project that you all have had going. You thought about that, you used that as inspiration to help tackle our problems with prob uh, plastic waste? Yeah, so we basically use biotechnology today to do many things, produce chemicals, produce pharmaceuticals. People don't realize how many products currently exist that come from biotechnology, so why not use it to degrade plastic? So that's basically our inspiration. What's the problem that you're trying to solve? What's our issue with plastics at this point? So the problem is this bag right here, it's made out of polyethylene. If we leave it in the environment, it's going to stay there for hundreds of years, up to a thousand years, where it's harmful to wildlife and it ends up shedding pieces of microplastic that you can't see and ends up in our body and in wildlife animals' bodies. The problem is that's not naturally degradable. And so we've developed a strain of bacteria that can consume that plastic as a food source and use that as a source to make new biodegradable plastic, which is this artificial spider silk that we have. Super cool. And how specifically do you do that? Is this in a laboratory? Is there a machine? Is there a factory? Right. What is the actual process? So, so right now everything is done at the lab scale. That's basically where we, we have a proof of concept, but eventually we would like to basically scale up the process, commercialize it potentially, and, and explore it for converting hundreds, thousands of tons of plastic waste to something that's biodegradable. So this could really create a huge ripple effect, I mean, in our country overall. What's your vision or your dream goal of the spider silk? You know, it's useful in a lot of different applications, everything from biomedical devices to parts of cosmetics and personal care formulations to even potentially a uh, replacement for the synthetic plastic fibers in your clothing. So in my mind, I think the longer we spend using these kinds of plastic materials that will pollute our environment for hundreds of a thousand years, uh, the, the worse off we are. And so the goal in my mind is to start replacing that with something like spider silk, which is a biodegradable alternative potentially. That's really interesting. How specifically can it be used for something like cosmetics? So something like this, for example, we can just add some water. It will dissolve in water and you can use it as part of a formulation for lotion or hairspray or, or some sort of cosmetics. Um, you can process in a different way and make it into a fiber, which then you can use as part of a clothing textiles. Um, there's a lot of different ways to process this material. Right now, we're just showing you the raw material. This is for what sure. kind of it comes out of after we make it in our lab, but there's a lot of options for that. I feel like we're getting in on the ground floor of something that is going to be a big deal. Mateos, what do you think at this point is your biggest challenge to putting this into high production? I think one of the biggest challenges is improving the titers. So how many grams of spider silk we're making per mm -hmm. liter? And that's basically where, where we're focusing the most. And the other big challenge is make the bacteria be more happy with the plastic waste. So make them basically grow faster and more efficiently. So those are the two areas that we're focusing on right now. We That's need really our bacteria cool. more happy. There you go. Yeah. I mean, it seems like a really interesting combination of manufacturing, mm -hmm. biology, and it yeah. seems like there's uh, a ton of applications for it. So very, very excited to have you guys here showing us this and getting us in on the ground floor and, uh, yeah, answering our questions. It's been really informative. Please come back as this progresses. We're really interested in seeing where this goes. Alan Mateus, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. It's 929. We're going to be back with more news and another check of that forecast with uh, this guy, meteorologist Matt Mackey.